Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Ali and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of Creator Studio Pro tips. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about is working with your canvas. Sometimes you have some elements that you want to animate from outside the frame of your canvas, but you really can't see, you know, um, how do they look like? Because usually what's outside the canvas frame is blurred out. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here by going into my studio and then I'm going to grab a couple of uh, backgrounds. So let's say my example today is that I want to transition from one scene to another. So I'm going to grab another um, background right here and then I'm going to close my studio. And then what I want to do is transition from scene one to scene number two and uh, have my second scene, you know, come from the right side to the center of my canvas. Let me just grab my canvas um, a little to the left so you can see a little bit better. Um, so now you can see that I have my uh, background inside the canvas. It's in full color, you know, looking good and everything. But my other background or my other scene that I want to transition is shown as blurred. So what you can do here is you come onto the right panel where you see canvas mode and then it's usually um, hidden. So what you can do is click on the show button and now you'll see your second scene in um, full color. So you can easily see exactly what's outside your uh, canvas frame. And then once you're done, you can just you know hide it again so you can continue working with your canvas. So that makes your life a lot easier by um, clicking on the show button right here to show you what's outside the canvas. So you can see everything in full color. And then once you're done, you can just click on hide just so you know exactly um, where the canvas frames and make sure that you, you are uh, within the canvas frame and you don't go outside of it. Now, the second thing I want to talk to you about is shapes. So usually when you're looking for specific shapes um, under shapes right here or even under the icons, I might not be able to find exactly uh, what you're looking for because um, the list, you know, kind of is limited. And so there's another way where you can find, you know, um, SVG files just um, exactly as the icons and the shapes. So what you can do at this point is go to my files or my media files right here and then click on SVG API. And then this will open up all the SVG um, images that you can uh, search for in different categories. So the cool thing about this is that chances are more than 90% of you, you'll find exactly what you're looking for. And again, these are SVG images. So the exact same uh, file type, just like um, shapes and icons so when you grab you know one of the one of the shapes you know right there so let's say i want to import this one and then i want to um, go into my files i'll find it there download it and then i'm going to go and drag it and drop it onto my canvas and you can see that i can you know change its color from the right panel here under settings and then i can change the color of my shape just just the way i want to i can also play with you know the size opacity and everything else but mainly just focusing on the color that you can change um, just exactly that what what you can do with shapes and icons so i hope this uh, tutorial is uh, very helpful thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video